What is up, people? Mr. Falior here bringing another video. Welcome back. Star Stable have been a little while since I made a Star Stable video. I got a piece of hay in my hand with a brush. I just had a bucket. Anyway, we're off to Winter Village for the two new Christmas slash Winter Magic Horses for 2023. It's very simple to get to. Just go straight down the slide. And off to the left. And they'll be straight ahead. First up, we got Battle. I don't know how you exactly pronounce it, but for regular American English, Vettel. I looked it up. Anyway, once upon a time, there was a very happy sleigh horse who dreamed of traveling the world. So when it came time for her retirement, she did just that. She traveled west, south, east, and north. She met a funny little penguin who became her best friend. One winter, they arrived in Jorvik. Vettel found something magical about Jorvik, especially when it began to snow. It reminded her of her youth. It's no wonder that a winter traveler would choose to stop and rest here. She thought. She stood in reverie for such a long time that she began to take on the features of an ice sculpture. If you see a sparkling ice horse, stand perfectly still. If you are quiet, you might see Vettel come to life. If you bond with her, Vettel warms up to romp in the snow as a sturdy shire. I love it. Okay. Clover monster? Oh boy. Eternal. It's a magic horse. I will always say eternal. Let's see. Uh, ice something, probably. I know that everybody... We'll probably pick something related to ice, but I can't help it. Is there spice? Is that a, is that a name? Ice spice. Ice spice. Yes. There you go. I got him. That's Ryder right now. Beautiful. Look at those features. In 4K, this should look really amazing. Look at the icicles under her. Very gorgeous. Let's see what it looks with my uh, go-to Christmas tack. Can't forget the butt bow. Ah, I can't equip that one on that breed. Okay. Well, that's good, at least. There's my go-to Christmas tack I like to use. Eh. It kind of fits, but not really for her color. I think it'll fit better on the gingerbread horse that's coming up in a sec. Okay, let's take it all off. Take all of it off. There we go. Oh yeah, and the starter. There we go. Okay. On to the next one. Which is apparently, according to Google, Lebkuchen. Maybe I pronounced it correctly, maybe I didn't, but according to Google, it's Lebkuchen. Lebkuchen awoke in a dark German forest with a vague memory of a wizened old lady in her tasteful cottage. As he struggled to gather his thoughts, a little gumdrop nose popped into view as a voice urged him to... Ooh. Hurry up. I, I don't know how you say that one. Mach schnell? 
maybe? He licked his forelock. Mmm, frosting. As many horses have done over the centuries, Lebkuchin made his way to the haven of Jorvik. His companion, a gnome called Gumdrop, helped him remember the witch they encountered and the gingerbread spell she cast upon them. Thank goodness they weren't eaten. They decided that they were happy enough to live ever after in Jorvik's winter village, where Lebkuchin was even able to return to his old lippy self on occasion. If you love a horse with a snappy and sweet, almost good enough to eat temperament, you'll be very happy to bond with Lebkuchin. I love it. Okay. Let's go with ginger spice. Boom. Perfect. Ice spice, ginger spice. Got him. Ah, uh, here we are. The gingerbread horse. Very beautiful. I love it. Also, I realized I accidentally did not show the non-magic version of the ice horse. I apologize. That's the non-magic version of Lebkuchen, though. Okay, let's see what happens with my tank. Oh, that one can wear those. Okay. And actual statted horseshoes. There we go. Okay. Um, the color matches them a bit better than the icy horse, at least. It's very pretty. Let's quickly go out. So we can see what they look like in broad daylight. <coughs> There's Leb Kuchin, more bright. Let's see, can I make it a little brighter? Not really. Okay, that's fine. There's Leb Kuchin. It's a very beautiful horse. And let me quickly bring out Ice Spice. Since I forgot to show the non-magic version of Ice Spice. Uh, Ice Spice. There we go. Where do I put them? Rainbow Chase. Okay. Quickly, quickly. I don't have much uh, star coins left. So I, I'm probably only going to get one of the pets, sadly. Can't really afford it at the moment, you know. Either that I'll just save them for horses for later on or something, I don't know. Anyway, Ice Spice in the Daylight. I mean, I do have Cash App in the description if you do want to help. Maybe I can buy Star Coins that way. Or maybe not. I'd just probably put it towards Bills, to be quite honest. Bills are more important. Anyway, non magic. Beautiful. Okay. Back to Winter Village for a quick second so I can read you the story of the two pets that are associated with the two magic horses. I should have done that first before I left, but you know, it's a chaotic video. I'm sorry. 
Okay, here we go. Run! Run, I spice. With absolutely no tack, I spice is very slow. Make sure you put tack on your horses, or else this is your max speed at level 1. Okay. The penguin associated with ice spice associated with what 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 horse what what what's the, what's the horse's actual name? Oh yeah, Vettel, Vettel and Lebkuchen. That's what it is. So the penguin associated with Vettel is Merlin. Merlin has a penchant for icy drinks, gelato and frozen fish. Although he is cold on the outside, he is warm and fuzzy on the inside. And Gumdrop for Lebkuchen. Gumdrop is a very cheerful gnome whose only real worry in life is that some silly squirrel will try to eat his nose. That's funny. That's actually funny. Now, I see Gumdrop right here in the little basket. Wait, that's not Gumdrop. That's the other gnome. Wait, do they not have them out? Do they not have them out? Oh, unless that's Gumdrop. That doesn't look like Gumdrop either. Why don't they have the new pets out? Okay, whatever. Sorry, apparently they don't have the new pets out on display. That's... Strange, but okay. I never actually opened this one. Oh. Huh. Oh, this gear would definitely go with with Vettel for sure. Yep. Oh yeah, definitely getting this set with Vettel. Okay. And as long as I can afford it, uh, I sh I should have the um shillings for it after emptying my mailbox of stuff anyway that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching please like this video subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment down below and i will see you again next time bye